Hi, there have been many questions about Moby Max and how to use Moby Max. So use this video to help you and I hope that it answers your questions. If you have a more specific question, please email me or comment in the class comments. You can use Moby Max for reading, math, spelling, social studies, phonics, any of the subject areas. And we're mostly going to use it for math or reading. We haven't done anything on reading on there yet, but we might we don't know what the future brings, so we'll see what happens. So how do you get onto Moby Max and how do you find your assignments? That's what I hope to address in this video. So I have the link on both of our math class page, which I'm on right now. I also have it on our homeroom classroom page and you can find the link in the classwork section. And there is a section in both pages that says helpful links and videos. And it says at this time link, but it will say link and video for Moby Max. Then it has the directions here. You need to use this website, mobymax.com slash sign in, which you can just click the link here or here. And you will need to use the school code MN1980. And then once we get there, you'll use your full username and password. So I'm gonna hit the sign in. It will bring you to a page like this. So make sure you click on as a student password. So I'm going to log in as a student using my full username and password, my last name, my first name at rockford.k12.mn.us. Type in your password, which is the same that we've been using. Hit sign in. And it might pop up with a joke or a comic of the day. But this is the most important stuff up here at the top, these blue buttons. There's also, as you can see, I'm not sure what it says, but it might be useful for you, our quick guide for using Moby Max at home. But mostly what you're gonna need is up here at the top. So if you click on the books, it will bring up all of these different modules or things that you can use to practice. So if I click on fact fluency, that's a great way for us to practice our math facts. If you don't have flashcards at home, there's different games for you to play. You can time yourself, you can pick addition, subtraction, multiplying, or division. And if you want to, you can go back using the home button. Okay, this is where you will find your assignments in the second blue button. It looks like a report or an assignment with an A plus on it. And it also has 17. And I think that 17 is the number of assignments that you have. Click on it and it says assignments. This is where you will find your assigned lessons. So this person, has assigned key details, stuff about the solar system, and those are actually things that I assigned a long time ago um, when I was just learning how to use Moby Max before all this coronavirus and school shutdown happened because I was hoping to use it the week before we didn't have school. So here you can see um, Perimeter is her math lesson, and I'm hoping that your most current assignments will be at the top, but it looks like I'll need to fix that. But you might need to scroll down to find the appropriate lesson that your teacher has assigned for you because it might not be on the top. All right, here in the balloons, you can see different games. You can see your rewards that you've earned or badges. Um, here in this board, there's announcements and tasks and messenger. I'm not sure about how to use those, but try it out on your own. And here you can use this to customize your Moby Max. You can change the color, you can change um, different images in there and how it introduces and greets you. So those are things that you can pick and if you want to. And in order to log out of Moby Max, you hit this log out button. And there you go. I hope that helps you in logging in and finding your assignments on Moby Max.